The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom and whatever you get, get insight. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. Blessed is the one who finds wisdom and the one who gets understanding. The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom and whatever you get, get insight. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. Welcome to Seed of Wisdom. The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom and whatever you get, get insight. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. Blessed is the one who finds wisdom and the one who gets understanding. The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom and whatever you get, get insight. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. Welcome to Seed of Wisdom. Wow, what a wonderful day, the day the Lord God has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. It is a good time and a good day, a good week, a good weekend to connect seed of wisdom for your own blessing. Beloved, I am coming on your way, coming in your home. Beloved, I'm so glad that Wherever you are at your office or working place, I am coming there. I'm still sharing the message, communication in marriage. It is very, very, very important. Why don't you share the page? Why don't you connect to a friend? Why don't you make known to somebody that this is what the Lord is doing? Under the seed of wisdom, beloved, I want you to connect, share it, comment. In case you have any question, write them down. You can bring it just after. Or I will set two weekends that we bring questions out so we can answer them. Shall we all have a word of prayer? Our Father and our God, we want to thank you and bless you for who you are and what you have done and what you are about to do. Under the seed of wisdom, I ever decrease may you ever increase. Let the entrance of your word bring wisdom that will make us to communicate in our marriage relationship. In Jesus' name, amen. Why don't you call your wife? Why don't you connect to your husband? Sit together and reason together. In fact, last week, I began to teach about speak the truth. 
in communication as a married couple, as you have found yourself as one and two, which means the two becoming one. You must speak, but speak the truth. And I said the first point is speak the truth and be transparent to each other. Speaking the truth and being transparent will build your home, build your relationship, make you to enjoy the best of the best. So always, if you lie, the truth will surely speak. If you speak the truth, it will surely confirm. It shall remain the same. That is why you must speak the truth and be transparent. Don't hide from your partner. Be transparent. The second point was that if we are allowed to think about these things, then we can see them. If both of you can allow yourself to think about the things you want to do, then you can see them. Or if you as a person can think about certain things before you act, then you can say them. So you think about what you want to do, reason enough before speaking. Many people find themselves in trouble. The secret is that we don't take time to think of what we are speaking. And always cause trouble because there will be mistakes. Number three, I said, do not pretend. Pretendency is killing our matrimonial hopes. Pretendency is making us fake. Pretendency is making us liars. And our children are learning from us, and they also pretend as if what they are doing is right, what they are saying is right. It is not, and at the end of the day, it brings troubles to the house. So the proof will show up just after a few hours or later, but it may be too late. When the proof always comes out, you will say, and I know, it will be too late, and there is nothing that you can do about it. And today, I want to share with you another topic under communication in marriage. That is, speak in love. In your communication, you must speak in love. Most of people do not speak in love and cause trouble. But whenever you speak in love, it's a positive, positive word. And that positive word can make your home stand, succeed, flourish, and become successful. Love is something that everything is on. By love, you can do anything without complaining. By love, you can do some things or making someone to do something without knowing. So when you are speaking, speak in love. Don't speak by hatred or what you are passing through. So number one, under the speaking in love or speak in love, speak the truth by all means, but speak in love. What you are saying, you are right. But are you speaking in love? What you are saying, nobody is arguing you. But are you speaking the truth in love? What you are bringing on the table, it is true. But are you speaking in love? The contribution you are bringing out, you are right. But are you speaking in love? Beloved, by the word of love, by actions, true love can convince a man or a woman to do something he never thought to do. Many people, especially women, are starved because they don't speak in love. What they are expecting from their partners, for the father they are not speaking in love, the men are delaying to give to them. Are the men also enjoying it? The reason why we are not getting what you are expecting is that we don't speak in love. <clears throat> love can draw you to where you thought we cannot be. Love can draw things into your life that will make you to become happy or excited or enjoying life. Speak in love. The way you make yourself to your partner, 
will let the man or the woman know, this is the woman who loves me. Are you speaking in love? Many people are saying they speak in love, but your countenance, your posture, your face, speak either you are speaking in love or in any other form. And whenever you are not speaking in love, the hearer cannot be convinced. For something to fall into temptation, but the leader was speaking in love. And because of love, that love, Samson was able to tell her the secret of his life. There are secrets in living. There are things going on. There are things happening. If you want to discover them, the key is love. Your wife has a lot of things and you have no idea. But because you don't talk to her with love, you are now going around and you are disturbed. <laughs> Why my wife is like this. Man, man, I want you to know, Bible says, love your wife. If you love somebody, you speak in love. You speak by love. You talk with love. So most of men, we don't talk with love or in love to our partners. All that we know is we just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. And when we are talking, it's like command them. Pressing, forcing, loading, and when sectors are taking place, the woman sees herself, she is nobody. And you can never convince her to do what she is already to do. But if it is love, it goes with humility, it goes with simplicity, it goes with understanding, it goes with cooperative. That is why. Every listener tonight, every viewer at this time, you must speak in love. When no matter how the thing has happened, your wife is vulnerable. You as a man, the way you confront the matter, the way you comes into the matter matters a lot. How you comport yourself, how you behave when things are messing up. Speak in love to your wife, to your children. I know you are a man. That man does not make you a man. Understand that you are a husband. And if you are a husband, talking to your wife, you must talk in love. Talking to your children, making amendments in their life, there must be life that's with demonstration. Without love, you can never see them or win their heart. So seed of glory, seed of Seed of wisdom is coming in your life by making to know with the key of love you, you can get whatever you are looking for. Beloved, love comes from the heart. <coughs> and when the love is, is being demonstrated, you will see the actions. Look at how God so loved the world. He demonstrated the love. And look at the multitude of people he has won into his kingdom. If you want to win the heart of your wife, the key is love. Not the way you are behaving. Not the way you are talking. Not the way you are talking like, I don't know how to put it, how to frame it, but you know yourself. Lifting your shoulder, your ego, the way you bring your eye out, the way you are pointing your fingers, the way you are shouting, the way you are jumping. You are not doing anything. You cannot convince the woman in such a way. But with love, that is what the Bible says, love your wife. You come down with a romantic voice, simplicity voice, with a reality telling your partner, honey, this is what I think I want us to do. It is not that maybe you cannot do anything, but because you are speaking in love. Beloved, it is good to speak in love and to help you to enjoy your life. This means, A, be careful how you communicate what you have to say. Speaking in love or speak in love means this. Be very careful how you communicate what you are saying or saying. 
Many people are communicating and they are not careful of what they say. It is not all saying that can change the mind of your life pattern. It is not how you say it, the way you go about it, that can transform the mind. But when you are careful to communicate, you take care before opening your mouth. So when you speak, it's full of season of salt. The Bible says we are the salt of life. We are the salt of the living. As a woman, the way you are talking to your husband is how you can win the heart of your husband to take care of you, to give you a job money, to assist you, to wash that car, to take your children to school, even though it is the responsibility of your man to do so. But because of our comportment, not communicating in love or speaking in love, men also are not doing it. They need your love. They need your love. So you can say the man is very wicked. My husband did not think about me. I regretted marrying you. What are you doing? Even though your expectations are not fulfilled, but the way you communicate, beloved, I want you to understand your carefulness of talking can put this in place. The way you take your time before you open your mouth can bring solution. Don't be quick to talk. Don't be fast to talk. And when you are talking, don't just bring words just like that. I believe maybe some people will say, because of my background, where I come from, that is how my parents trained me. That is how I was brought up. That is how seed of wisdom is coming into your life. The way you communicate. The woman is so supported because the way you are talking to her, you don't you don't take second caution or deep thinking before talking to her. And she is a woman being, remember, she is your helpmate. And if somebody is helping you, and they, you are taking her for granted, and you are talking to her like your helpmate, your housemate, your house helper, then she will let you know she is not a help or housemate, she is your helpmate. She is there to assist you. She is there to comfort you. So words are very important. How do you communicate? Do you think and be careful before seeing it? I will say that be panic. Don't be panic, but be balanced. Is it the right time? What are the sentences I should use? What are the commands? Where I should pause? Where I should stop? Where I should continue? Where I should laugh? And the very things I can add to in order for my my message to be authentic or be accepted. So we are not receiving our answer and now causing the trouble in our home. That very thing that you are saying, you are right or right, but the way and the manner you are communicating is wrong and no man will accept it. No one will compromise. But if you are carefully communicating, speaking the truth, how to present, how to go about it, it will make your partner also support you. The Lord bless you.